this season very much feels like it could be the end or the beginning of the end for Joe's story. How much more of Joe's story do you think there is to tell beyond season four? I would think that this is like a, if we don't get another season, this could, this could be a, a somewhat satisfying end. But I think to really bring it home, I mean, Joe, Joe at this point, he's a, He's like a postmodern icon of some kind, you know what I mean? He's something. He's definitely the fact that he's such a popular dude. Um, it's something, right? You know? So, like, I, it, there's there's got to be a, to me, a, a more thorough and satisfying conclusion. I have so many tools now. Sure, killing is one of many, but it's certainly not a one-size-fits-all solution. She's here to change the world. Though the killing part also much easier now that I'm honest with myself about it. I'm just here to help. What is your message to the fans after they finished part two? Are, <laughs> they've seen um, where Joe is. Are you okay? How do you feel? Do you need, <laughs> do you, do you need some time? <laughs> Don't binge it again right now just yet. Don't do it. That's my message. Joe winds up where it all began. Is this a fresh start for him? Like, what does Joe back in New York, if you could dream up where he goes? Well, clearly he's back home in New York. Thank God, by the way, because I don't have to move again. <laughs> I've had to move every season. That's exhausting. <laughs> um, but now he's got sort of unlimited resources. He actually has the sort of power he's not had. You know, with Love and the, the Quinn family, he had power, but he didn't want it. He didn't want to take it. He didn't want it. The family didn't really want to give it to him, you know? So I think now he's embracing really his lower nature. He's, he's letting the animal take over the human, basically. He's letting the predator take over the, whatever the, yeah, his heart. Yeah. And he's um, probably gonna be just quite unhinged, uh, I guess. I don't know though. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't know. And there's at least two people out in the world now who kind of know everything about Joe. That's Marianne true. And Nadia. That's true. And one of them is in prison and one of them is in hiding. So it could be a revenge season. There's a lot of options. That's true. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's a question for the writers. Now, I will say that Greg Berlanti pitched me on, on an end that I thought was brilliant. And I can't tell you what it is. Was that like when you signed on for the show or something? No, no, no. He pitched it to me like a year and a half ago. Okay. Like before we, before I knew it was happening in season four, he also told me what he th how he thought it would end in season five. And I thought, yeah, that's, that's great. Okay. Every season has centered around a love story. If you had died, I would never have forgiven you. <sighs> Do you think Kate is Joe's endgame? I think he's the, I think, I think she's the last meaningful relationship he'll be in. Okay. Because I don't think there's another one coming down the pike. I think she's going to be, yeah, I think she's his endgame. Endgame, does that mean? Like, they're together Together forever. forever. Well, no, I don't think that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No, that relationship's not going to last, but it's the last for Joe, I think. I think. I mean, it, it, literally, that's not even a spoiler. I just, I don't know. Uh, we do get the blast from the past this season. <laughs> don't look at me. It's your dream. What did you do this time? Hi, Joe. What was it like to reunite with them for those little moments? In it was the nice. Cage? I mean, I was also directing that episode, so it was very, it was, it was poignant. It was really lovely to have them back. They're both you icons, you know. So I really appreciated being able to direct them as well. What's the challenge in directing yourself? Um, time. More than anything, time, because you're in front of the camera. You can't be behind it. It is, uh, it is, it is a phenomenal challenge. But I did love it.